Hello, welcome to my presentation. Today I'll be talking about Romania. Introduction. Romania is a country on the southeast side of Europe. It isn't the biggest, but its nature, culture, and way of life is amazing. I hope you enjoy and I hope you learn more about this country. Location. Romania is located on the southeast side of Europe, like I said. The exact coordinates are 45.9432 degrees north and 24.9668 degrees east. Here on the left, I drew a map of the world with Romania here, and on the right, I drew a map of Europe with Romania here. Locations in Romania. Romania has many mountain ranges, beautiful cities, and other stunning locations in nature, etc. Here on the right, I drew a map of Romania with its neighboring countries, the Black Sea, some major cities, the Transylvanian Alps, the Carpathian Mountains, and the capital, Bucharest. Languages. Approximately 89% of Romanians speak Romanian, 7% of Romanians speak Hungarian, 1.5% speak German, and the rest usually speak English, Bulgarian, or Ukrainian. Population. Romania has roughly 19.14 million people. Around 82.8% of Romanians are Romanians, while 18.2% are immigrants. Religions. 81% of Romanians practice Orthodox Christianity. The other 19% is split up in a lot of other religions. 6.2% practice Protestantism. 5.1% practice Catholicism. 0.2% are not religious. 1.5% practice another religion, and there is no data for the other 6%. Bucharest. Bucharest is the capital city of Romania. It is one of the most beautiful cities in Europe. Other famous cities. Some other famous cities in Romania include Cluj-Napoca, Brasov, and Timisoara, amongst more. Romanian landforms. There are six landforms in Romania, the Carpathian Mountains, the Danube Delta, the Transylvanian Alps, the Transylvanian Basin, the Moldavian Plateau, and the Wallachian Plain. Weather in Romania. The weather in Romania is similar to Canada's weather. The amount of sunshine is higher than in Canada though, but the rest is average in terms of rain, snow, of course in the winter, cloudy days, etc. Climate in Romania. The climate in Romania is also similar to Canada's climate. The weather is a little hotter in Romania than in Canada, but summers are still hot, winters are cold, spring and fall is around the middle, like Canada. Vegetation in Romania. You can find a wide variety of flowers, trees, and other plants in Romania. From lilacs, roses, daisies, tulips, and dahlias, to oak, beech, elm, ash, maple, and linden, there is a lot of vegetation in Romania. Wildlife in Romania. There are a large number of animals in Romania as well. From European wildcats, Eurasian lynxes, and red foxes to golden jackals, gray wolves, and brown bears, amongst many others, there are a lot of animals in Romania, also a large, unique variety. Attractions in Romania. Of course, many attractions in Romania include the nature aspect, the Carpathian Mountains, the Danube Delta, etc. Other than that, Romania has many old slash medieval attractions like the Pelis Castle and the Bram Castle. I have to also give a mention to Salina Turda, a huge mine shown here, and the Palace of Parliament, which both look fantastic. Human activities. Since there are a lot of mountain ranges, Romanians can go zip lining, hiking, and more. Romanians also have a lot of water to swim in. Citizens love old slash medieval structures and they have a lot to show as mentioned above. The flag. The blue represents liberty, the yellow represents justice, and the red represents the fraternity of the country. The end. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed.